That's right, time to play another Battle Royale game. I I don't think we're anywhere near done with this genre, but I am at least trying to not play them back to back, at the very least. This one has a thing going on where you, uh, you play as classes in what looks almost like an RPG or fantasy setting, I mean. You pick a class, you can ride a horse, you craft things. How that all fits together? Don't know. We should probably go into the guide. Oh. Welcome to Realm Royale, the first class-based battle royale. Nope. <laughs> if you're not gonna make a tutorial, I'm just gonna hit play. North America. Fucking squad. If you, uh... If you, uh, wanted to have your squad match be a full team of competent people, maybe you should have done... Well, had friends. <laughs> Ooh, we're starting. I started watching the tutorial. Because I was waiting. Reasonable thing to do in that moment. You turn into a chicken when you run out of health. <laughs> if your health hits zeros, you turn into a chicken. You have to run away for 30 seconds, and then I think you come back. Other than that, you can disenchant stuff, like in WoW, but you can use that disenchanted stuff to craft things if you find a blacksmith. So that's my takeaway so far. There's also bad fog that closes it on you, which I assume is similar to the force field from uh, PUBG and so on. Visually, this is like indistinguishable from Fortnite at first. Gains health and armor per second. Huh. Being a hunter sounds like it'd be easy. Maybe I'll just shoot people with, with hunter shots. Ah, somebody's already a hunter, fighter, and, uh... Uh... Mage. There we go. Nobody's a mage in this crew. I just arbitrarily picked whatever somebody else wasn't. Colorful. Oh, there goes one of our teammates. I'm gonna go after them. That's, uh, that's Arkdux. That's our engineer. Nobody else came with us. Fuck. <laughs> this is running nicely so far. And it's pretty. To step up from the last one. <laughs> Actually, to step up from the last, like, three. I played that, the one from the company that's already dead. I played the parody game, which ran like shit, and I played the robot one that had a fun idea, but was just a disaster. So I can, like, dash around. Other than that, all I can do is, like, shoot. Well, that didn't work. All right. Chicken sounds happen. We're off to a good start. I've made a grad. I made a grand mistake, which is I got distracted by the fact that I have spells and stuff, and then it didn't occur to me immediately that, right, I don't have a weapon. So I tried to punch that dude. I think my instinct to play a battle royale game and get some items and whatnot was completely destroyed by the fact that, uh, that my teammate was in danger and I wanted to help them. So he's like hiding behind a, a chicken song plays. This is actually kind of great. Uh, he's, he's been hiding behind things to try to get line of sight so he can revive after 10 seconds. Which must have been what happened to Recon too. Yeah, the guy I was trying to save is alive. Was it Recon or was it Klager? Klager is also a chicken. I think it was Recon who I died trying to help. So he's healing himself. And look at the map. Oh, Tab is map. So these two were together. Green and blue were together. I died. That is that where I died? Oops! I was able to, I was able to ping the map. Yeah, I think he might have stopped to look at the map to see what I did. Wait, we have to- wait, my fr- Wait, my teammates are Recon, Klager, and Klager. Oh. Oh, the other guy that was with me probably left. Okay, so we- we jumped out near the beginning, I think. These two were off on their own adventure. The person who died with me also died, I think. 
so our team our squad of four people didn't even bother to jump out the same place huh I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over instead of waiting this waiting for this all right try this try this again huh uh, somebody's already a hunter all right I'll be an assassin I'm just trying to pick not the same class as other people all right so this time I'll remember to fucking oh somebody else is an assassin now assassin hunter engineer fuck it I'll be an engineer. They get armor per second. That's got to be nice. But this time I'll fucking remember to pick up a weapon before I fight. Even if my friend's in danger. Hopefully the four people group up together. Also, by the way, those those tutorial videos are only a minute long. So they're not, it's not the worst thing to have. It. I mean, it's more information than other games tend to give you. I actually kind of want to prompt the rest of my multiplayer group to try this game out. If I like it enough, because... This looks way more promising. I mean, I want to play more PUBG. But they they all decided they hate PUBG and said I don't I don't like playing this solo. I'm exclusively just looking for indication of where the other players went. can't seem to go forward more. There's a chest. That's probably got what I need. Alright, got a gun. Firebomb. Fuck shit's loud in this game. Healing totem. Oops. Uh, I don't know what these things are. Uh, healing's probably good, though, so fuck it. Barricade, that's also pretty good. Fuck. Did that wrong? Shift does not seem to sprint for me. Maybe you can only sprint to certain characters? All right, so teammates are here. Got some armor. Alright, 60 left. I'm spreading out a little bit. Aha! Damage. I think that was a headshot. Shit! God damn, you go down fast in this game. Up, oh, two of us are chickens. That's not good news. That's not good news. Uh, oh no, he's a chicken too. Oh, they're all chickens. Got him, chicken. Got him, chicken. Dead chicken. Ah, oh, I've been re-chickened. Shit. I got a kill though. A real, a genuine kill. So there's that. Hide, 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 hide. Burp, 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 burp. I'll hide inside the chest, they'll never find me here. Fuck, they found me. They super found me. Burp, 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 burp. No. <laughs> we teamed eight. Oh, uh, wait, our team placed an 18th. One elimination. Wait, my team placed? Oh, shit. I was the last member of my team. All right. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and leave. In the past, I've watched the match play out via spectator, but I think I'll do more matches instead. We're up to an interesting start, I suppose. My squads have been somewhat less than helpful. Apparently, I got the only elimination of the team. Doesn't bode well. All right, it drops you in before you can see your team. Oh, only 100 this time. 
I have no idea if it's actually a good idea to swap teams this much, but I've, I'm not, I don't know how to play any of the classes that well anyway, so I might as well just swap between them. Okay. I tapped the press to talk for a second there and saw it pop up, so I can confirm that people can't hear me. I'm really self-conscious of that. It really fucks with me if I'm doing, like, Let's Play commentary and I just realize, oh shit, somebody could hear me the whole time. Somebody else picked Hunter, no! Oh. Oh well. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I just, I just feel like it matters. Okay, he's just clicking everywhere, what the fuck? I'm just gonna wait for somebody to hop out. Oh, alright. So look at this map, guys, by the way. You guys that were defending totally accurate battle royales, but like, it's just a parody, which you pay for. Or, uh, like, uh, you made your playthrough bad on purpose by going to an empty part of the map. There's not supposed to be empty parts of the map. Have you played Fortnite or PUBG or this? Like, or even the mech game? There is, there's not supposed to be empty parts of the map. That's the whole point. People are supposed to be dropping all over the map, and all of them are supposed to have, like, buildings or different types of terrain or loot or something. They're all supposed to have something. Even if it's like, this is the open air part of the map, or this is the densely populated part of the map, even the empty parts of the map always have, a bunch, like, a couple shacks and some buildings and some loot to pick up, at the very least. Like, I was running around with no weapon for ten minutes, that's absurd. That map is bad. And it's, and no matter wh whether, no, it doesn't matter if they make them whack, wacky, wavable, inflatable armed tube men or something. Still, the, the game itself is still, like, a bad map and a bad game. And the, the being like, huh, huh, it's kind of funny, doesn't make it a good game. I almost got him. Almost got him. Oh, shit. And I'm chickened. Park, 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 park. Oh my god, this song is gonna be in my head. This, I don't think it even counts as a song. It's more like a disaster, really. Uh oh. That might be bad. Although it might be better for hiding regardless. Uh, when I turn back, I can try to jump back. Ooh, <laughs> that's a sound. I don't know what my abilities are. That'll be the harder part to learn, is what all the different things on my on my character are. And trying to learn those in the context of like rapid fire matches where you're trying not to die. Must save teammates. Shit, really? Already? Park, 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 park. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <laughs> Fucking up my teammates here. Is that a golden chicken? So I'm down- so you only get three chickens. There's- you have three chickens on your bar. So clearly you run out of lives. No one on my team's dead yet, but I've lost two chickens already. That means in a different Battle Royale match I would have been dead already twice? There's an appeal to that though, the idea that like you can come back to life and it prolongs your average playthrough sometimes. I'm armoring up a bit. I may have passed up good loot, but I don't really know what I'm looking for yet. Let's see, we have a minute till the fog w w moves. Ah! Somebody shooting at me? <laughs> I actually got him. I can't see past my teammate's head in third person. They're standing behind me and I can't see past them. That's pretty funny. If only I could zoom in, which maybe I can, but I don't know how. Uh, E2. Is this a zooming weapon? Not my best move. Trying to take pot shots from the distance. Oh shit. 
They're killed. The fog sets in. Fuck, he's dead. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Pairing armor. So your health does not go up over time. Only if you're buying this, uh, paying those particular characters. Now I've got fog problems too, and I don't know where my, the rest of my team is. Gotta hear these gunshots happening everywhere. Let me die right there. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, that ability to fly. It says my team plays 16th, but they're still alive. Mochi, Mochi, and Mochi. Okay, so when people quit, their names, their names are dropped, and it forgets what their name is. So it just replaces them with whoever's left in the team. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was like, I'm flying. I'm all the way up here. I might survive getting chickened, and then, uh, and then that happened. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I'll survive being chickened, and then they just fly up because they're a mage and they can fly. I liked my role though. I, I kind of missed being an engineer that had the ability to conjure barriers and stuff like that. Oh, there goes my team. I'll go ahead and back out now. When I've decided it's my final match, that's when I might, uh... wait for the match to end and see the winner. That's kinda nice. Let's go back out. Yeah, the different... the, the powers are interesting. The fact that, uh, in, in addition to having some weapons, you also have some powers and things going on is interesting. I cannot keep up with what's going on. There's a lot I have to that you'd have to learn and get engaged with the stuff to fully understand what's going on, but it's it's shaping up to be interesting. It's really funny to me that the person of course I got killed by the person who had the ability to fly, which meant that they could just despite the fact I was on top of a building and they they take a while to get up there and I could have hidden otherwise, they just they immediately flew all the way up to the window and took me out. All right. Let's try I like to engineer kind of. Looks like you have a vertical jump it looks like. But, uh, having a defensive thing I can pop down might be really useful. Seems like a decent way of juking things a little bit. I, lo I did like my little barrier I plopped down last time. That seemed nice. And with th Thin... Thrinan Axe Handler, The Sexy Llama, and Retro Suspect. Alright. Once again, I'm just gonna jump out when they do. Player base seems healthy enough. Uh... They seem, to be pri they seem to be prioritizing not making the wait too long. So, like every other Battle Royale game I play, it's n it never seems to actually reach 100 players. But 80 is a lot higher. I'm waiting for everyone else to jump and no one else is jumping. Oh, someone jumped. Just waiting for anyone to jump. Ah, a whole town to ourselves maybe? Oh, I see, like... Eight other people falling. Shit. Alright. Well, how do I go forward more? I can go left and right. I can't go forward very well. Okay. That guy has a mount. Great. Ah, <laughs> chicken them. Chicken, chicken, chicken. That guy looks like Zelda, what the fuck? I mean, not, not Zelda, Link. Park, 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 I already got a kill. <laughs> Feeling alright about that. That guy's gonna wake up before... I think that guy's gonna revive first and kill us, so I'm gonna go upstairs. I think the other chicken's gonna wake up first, I don't know. I can't tell how old the chickens are. I got a kill already. Ooh, we have three kills in this team, this might be a good one. Ooh. 
That could be good. I hope it works out. I need to find a weapon though. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That person also doesn't have a weapon. Oh, he teleported away. <laughs> Alright. God damn. That was real damage. I did like a lot. I still can't find a weapon. Ah. The problem and one issue in this game I'm noticing is that you, you can disenchant weapons. Being able to disenchant weapons means that. Another kill. <laughs> Being able to disenchant weapons means the weapons can just go away. You can disenchant weapons if you don't want them, which means that they, unlike other uh, Battle Royale games, they literally disappear. Or not. Ow, one hit? Shit. Oh. But I finally had a weapon. I finally had a weapon. So you, you're into way more trouble with everybody going into one location together, like uh, like what happened here where they all flooded one town, is that everyone grabs uh, all the weapons, and the ones they don't want, they disenchant. And the disenchanted items you can use to for, for blacksmithing if you ever get that far, which I don't know if the player base ever really does. Uh, these matches seem like they go fast. But, uh... Uh, the, the, the side effect is that you end up with a, with a camp full of nothing. Whereas kind of cleared out areas in other games, oftentimes a, a guy can only hold a handful of items, so whatever they, they find that's extra tends to get dropped on the ground. Uh... So instead of getting absolutely nothing in other games, you kind of tend to end up with, uh, people's leavings instead. Whereas this one, you walk around, there's like, there's just nothing! Uh, it's, it's somewhat helped by the fact that they give you a melee weapon. You have that little dagger that does 300 damage, which is not terrible. I got two kills with it. Oh, it doesn't count my kills. My kills went away. Oh. I had two kills, and they just went away. It's like, JK, they're gone now, bye-bye. That's a bummer. Oh well. Still, we're just gonna sit here and watch Retro Suspect. And then when he gets killed, presumably, we'll switch to to somebody else, maybe the person that killed him if I can. I just wanna see an, um, an end, a match end. I wanna see the, re the rest of a match. So we'll watch my team and see how far they make it, which is just him now. Then we'll see who wins the match overall, and maybe we'll get a glimpse at other gameplay mechanics that we don't get from playing the first two minutes of a match over and over again. But this game looks promising, and it does feel like they genuinely brought something new to it. Significantly more than that other Battle Royale game I played that was the, um... I can, I can never... Uh, it was called something Heights, I think. I can never remember its name. It's the one where you can uh, buy stuff from vending machines and stuff like that. It didn't seem terribly original. This one seems like the class system and the crafting could easily be more interesting than some of the other offerings people have when they're when they're mostly just yes anding onto a popular genre and trying to profit off of it. Uh, High res here may have done something more interesting, which makes sense. They've been making Smite and other games for a while now, so that they may have ideas so he's crap it just you have to wait oh my god so as it so if you're playing with a team you need to like you need to control a blacksmith you start crafting something and you need to physically control this location that's interesting so he got enough stuff to, to craft things but if anyone else comes in here he's in trouble and he's got to sit here and wait for them to be ready which takes like a whole minute that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Hmm. That one's ready. What'd he get? A helmet. I think it said it was locked to him for X number of seconds. So it seems like if you're a teammate or even an enemy coming in, you have to wait 10 more seconds to get the item if he's if he uh and then like if i guess if, he, if he's dead or had to run away then you can get it but the idea is you can't just ninja loot it from his all the work he did which would suck it would suck if people could just take your shit on the spot because they just happened to swoop in at the last second why isn't he picking up his weapon though maybe he can't figure out how to equip it it's a little confusing you have to press 
equip, then you have to press the number slot you want to put it into. Which, despite the fact that... Oh no! Did it fall into the blacks? Oh, his camera's twerking around because he's trying to look at it directly. Oh no! And he didn't have a weapon yet, that was his only weapon. So, why hasn't he picked up the crossbow? He seems to only have a spear? Oh shit, that's the field. He might be a new player that got lucky. I kind of inherently assumed that he must be the best if he made it further than everyone else. How do you- I need to figure out how to summon the horse. I guess you just have a horse. I thought you had to get one. So I don't know what's going on with this guy. He won't pick up the, the crossbow, which as far as I can tell, you can- You can pick up the crossbow, I think, no matter what. Like, I was able to pick up whatever weapons I found. He's running around with just his dagger, as far as I can tell. I think that what we're seeing in the bottom right corner there is actually his equipment, which is just nothing. He's wearing a helmet. And a chest piece in the butt you can see on the bottom left corner and he has no chick he has one chicken left and you can see from the right side that he has no gear and no abilities besides the the, the the dodge move you start with that everyone always has but my best guess is that he crafted an, a legendary axe and then the legendary axe clipped into the smite the i think it clipped into the furnace and uh, the what you, the furnace isn't right is it i don't know the, uh, the blacksmithing station. <laughs> I think it clipped in, and whenever he tried to look at it, I think he was getting stuck pressing E on the blacksmithing thing. I think that's why his camera was, like, jerking around, as he was trying to adjust it until he could get it in the right position that where it would allow him to pick it up, and he couldn't get it to work. But because, because he couldn't get it to pick it up, he uh, had to abandon it. But he left that crossbow, which was weird. So maybe he just doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, so maybe I just don't understand his amazing strats. All I know is this is incredibly close. Holy shit, he made it. That was incredibly lucky. I don't know why he kept stopping so often on his way here. But he just barely made it anyway. We believe in you, Retro Suspect. 20 players remaining. He has not seen a single enemy since the beginning, but there's fewer of them now. Do you guys think that modern aesthetic of this kind of game is kind of like inspired to an extent by World of Warcraft? Like, because it's sh of its sheer popularity, World of Warcraft kind of decided what like a lot of pop fantasy video games we're gonna look like for a while now from like orcs must die to this and a bunch of other things the giant shoulders and the cartoonish colors and so on and so forth like there's plenty of like dark fantasy and other genres like the witcher that have their own look or maybe even their own separate combined look because dragon age and witcher are not incomparable but i feel like a lot of like sillier fantasy stuff seems to be following heavily into the aesthetic of WoW. To the point where he looks like he's wearing an armor set from World of Warcraft right now? That I think I've seen before. I can't help but think that. Dude, you don't have a weapon yet. Is this like a self-imposed challenge or what? I hope he's dead. <laughs> he got killed by an exact clone of himself. Got seventh place. It, that's a lie though, right? It says we had two eliminations, but we clearly had more than two eliminations. Because I got two, elimina two eliminations. I think the game might be bugged. I think the game only remembers how many kills the... I think the game only remembers how many kills the, the currently surviving players have, and then it reports your whole team as having the number of kills of whoever lived last. Because I had two kills. And that guy also had two kills. So, collectively, we had... Somebody else had one or two kills, too, so we, like, we, we... We didn't win, but that was a net positive if you would go on KD at the very least. Like, we had more kills than our team had deaths, and that our team, you know, there's four of us, so... More, more than four kills is at least in the positives. Though you're not winning, because it's about surviving. This guy seems to have at least a team of three left, I think? Or was it just the two of them? No, because the other guy was the... They had the knight character, too. Looks like they have an assassin... They have an assassin, a hunter, and a knight. Or, or a, a warrior, or whatever. That's the one. 
So they're in a good position. There's three of them left, and there's 17 players. Oops, spotted that guy. Oh. Snipe. Oh, get him. Get him, get him. Don't let him run away. Oh, that guy's running towards you. That's an interesting strategy for not getting hit. And it's to see how it pays off. <laughs> you know? Think you know? That's one more down. Hmm. This this team is arguably like 25% of the current uh, game. So they have a decent chance of making it. Especially since the other teams are... There's a decent chance the other ones aren't as solid and whole. The smoke bomb. Oh man. Oh shit, some of these people know what they're doing. This guy scares me. This guy scares me a little bit. God damn, he jumped he just jumped right in there. Wow. He was surrounded by enemies and he just evaded his way out with the uh the rogue skills, which seem to be teleports and smoke bombs. And now he's I think he's is he self-healing? What's he doing? Yeah, he's healing. He's using potions and hoping his team can survive on their own for a bit. Which they have. That's both of them, they're still. These guys might know what they're doing. They might be playing this all day, every day. I, I get this. I, I'm, I suspect they might be in voice chat together like people are supposed to be. <laughs> and actually are a team as opposed to a matchmaker squad like we were. Did they win? The, they beat the whole team, didn't they? There's 12 people. Number of people went down by five, so yeah, that's that's probably the whole four-person team dead. Son of a bitch. It is refreshing being able to see what the rest of the team does. I heard they added that to PUBG, but I haven't played it in like six months or whatever that last video was. So back then, like you just when you died, the match was over from your perspective. You'd only you only spectate your teammates. It's kind of cool being able to watch all the way through to the final moment. In particular, because that that means that even if you're not streaming, even if you're not streaming, that means that that people could be watching your victory, which kind of puts the pressure on. Oh, they have their whole team. One of them just wasn't around for a while. They actually have four people still. So they're just gonna camp out and, and try to work together and cover each other. I Alright, so one of them was just not nearby for a while, I think, because there, there clearly was only two other dudes for a while. But yeah, I, I won... I got chicken dinner like four or five times in the like 20 matches I played. Like it was... I had a really decent win rate, which was through a lot of douchey stealth mechanics and everything, but uh, still, wins are wins, right? Uh, but the bummer is that there's that feeling of like, ah, when you win, it, like, the only person that knows is you slash your teammates and the guy with the one guy you fought. Because everybody else just got kicked out to that chicken dinner menu and then had to leave the game. So if everyone can spectate whoever's left in a match each time, you can watch the outcome, and I imagine a lot of people just want to get back in the game and quit out immediately, but some people will watch. And then other people are seeing the victory happen, which is usually the case for most video games, but but in, in player elimination games it's less likely, and in this game in particular it's undoable. That was a turret. So the engineer has a turret. Fuck, this guy has a good aim. By the way. Jesus. Alright, so th dude, these are the guys that are gonna win, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> look what they're doing. He oh, wow. He has three... He has three legendary gear slots and one green. He's using the heirloom rifle, I think, which is what I... What I, I that's what I died using. It seemed alright. It seemed decent. Or it looks like the heirloom rifle. There it goes. They actually won. Huh? They actually won. Alright guys, thanks for watching like always. This has been Realm Royale. As per usual, you can click the link in the description to find the Steam page.
See you guys next time.